Hi class, this uh, tutorial or demonstration demo is on doing an extension of an outline on type, uh, also bending type, and creating a window, a cello window in your packaging. This is an extension of our packaging class and how to create a digital uh, 3D mock-up of your packaging. So we're just going to be working on the front panel, the principal display panel, the PDP. All right, so let's start. We're going to try to do something like this. Gluten-free, rotini, and then have a, a photo of pasta in here. So this, imagine this is actually pasta in this bag, uncooked. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's start. We uh, are in Illustrator. Let's do Command N for new. And this comes up. Let's uh, just do something uh, uh, seven, seven. Let's just do something square. Uh, the box is, uh, or I should say the carton is about that height. It's uh, about six, six and a half inches. So let's, let's go with that, okay? One artboard. This will be printed, so it is CMYK and 300 ppi is a good resolution so let's do create okay so here we are let's do some layers on this i like to work when i'm working on packaging i like to do three layers usually i have my die line but just starting out on the first panel uh it still it still helps okay so let's do that let's go up to window let's go find our layers there it is and here it pops up so let's do um, layers and we can go here for a new layer or we can also go here. So that's layer one, layer two, and layer three. Let's, let's name these right away. So I'm going to call them this bottom one, which is layer one, which is not the top. This is the bottom layer. There we go. I'm just gonna layer it, <clears throat> call it bottom. middle, this is not too hard to figure out, and then top. Okay. Keep in mind that layers are used differently in Adobe Illustrator than Photoshop. In Photoshop, every time you click on the artboard, you're going to create automatically a, a layer. Uh, Adobe Illustrator does that in a way, but it is different. Okay, so let's just pull this here. I pulled it off. And let's just get rid of We don't need that. All right, I got rid of it. Okay. So these are our floating panels here on the right. On the left, of course, we have our tools. And then on the top, we call this our control uh, bars. Okay. And obviously on the very, very top is the menu. Okay, so here we go. Let's do a, on the bottom, got to click your, uh, when you have layers, you got to be careful then that you're working on the right layer. Okay, bottom, let's just do our front panel. Now, let's say I'm doing a pasta, and you have to measure the front panel. So it's good to buy something uh, that you are trying to uh, emulate, or you might be asked to redo an exact package. So you better buy it, open it, empty it out, open up that carton, and measure the front panel. Okay, so here we go on over here, the tools, rectangular tool, and just click anywhere in the artboard. All right, like I said, my uh, particular uh, packaging is a small, is gonna be a small carton. And uh, so we're gonna do a width of about 4.5 and a height, I think it's six. Um, let's just go with six, that's good. So let's go, uh, okay. All right, here's my selection tool. Click on. Sorry, click off, click on, got to get a hold of it. Uh, you can move it from uh, the top, uh, any of these top lines or, or from the middle here. You can move it around. Okay, I really don't want to start. Watch your black lines. It's how you construct things in Adobe Illustrator, but um, don't, don't leave these lines on, okay? I am going to uh, right away click on here and do none. And then I'm going to click on fill and I'm going to put a color that I want. Now, let's use swatches, not these two here, not this color and not this color guide. So 
Let's just use swatches for now. I'm going to pull down the bottom, which will reveal some gray palettes. Let's get rid of this. Click on these double arrows. And let's put this next to the layers. We might put them on the uh, left side uh, also. So, okay, we're still on the bottom. I want a blue. So let's select a blue. Blue is an odd color because honestly, oh, uh, let's go to fill. Stroke. Uh, stroke is none. Over here is our fill. I would say blue is an odd color because it, pure blue seems to be way too saturated. You want to get a blue that's a little bit more subdued. In this case, I'd like it to be a darker blue. So what you do on the left-hand side, underneath on the bottom of the uh, the tools, double-click here, and you're going to get this. Okay, So it's basically your color that's right here. This is white. This is black. So you can move it up and down in any direction, and this is what your new color is. Okay? And I want a little bit of a darker color, so I am going to go with this. And I think that's pretty close to what I want. So now what I'm going to do is click on this selected blue that I made, and I'm going to drag it down here. So click on it and drag it. Now this is our color now. We have this color. So I don't have to rely on these colors. Okay? So let's click off of it. All right. Now let's, let's again, now let's check our artboard. I mean our layers. We are right here. I'm done with the bottom for now. So let's go here and let's just make sure that uh, this is, you know, on the bottom and it's exactly on the bottom where we want it. We can click the eyeball on and the eyeball off. There's nothing else. There's no... These, those are sub-layers when you click on this arrow. Okay, so this is fine. This is fine the way it is, okay? Now, I want a... Let's go on the medium here. Let's start with some typography. Okay, I'm going to click on this and actually I'm going to just lock it. So I'm going to go up to Object, Lock, and Lock Selection. Okay, so this isn't going anywhere. Let's go to Medium. Okay. Now, the what I had worked on before was this, gluten-free rotini. I don't want to reference it too much, but uh, I, I need that in the font. Okay, great. So uh, gluten-free rotini. So this is what I'm going to do. Take the type tool. Okay, all of this just fake stuff comes up. It's supposed to help you. I, I it's... They started about five years ago I, in Adobe Illustrator. I'm not that crazy about it. Let's do uh, uh, gluten. I think I'm doing my German gluten talk. Okay, gluten. And let's uh, go to, let's pick just a easy, uh, nice, easy font. Okay, Myriad Pro, my go-to. It's getting overused now, but still it's got a great family. What do I mean by family? Watch this. Click this arrow. That's a family. When you download a font, make sure you download the whole family. Myriad Pro has all of this in it. You can design this whole carton with Myriad Pro. And by doing different members of the family, okay, and by giving them different colors, you can make it look very real and and rich in terms of your fonts. So I encourage you to do that. I'm going to do just bold. Okay, good. I'm going to go up here by paragraph and click on this, which is center. Okay. Now, I'm going to make another box. I, I know that this needs to be larger, so I'm going to make it larger right now. Let's move some of this around away. Here's our character. Uh, let's do about 34, 36. Uh, let's see, gluten. It's a little bit too big, so it's pulling out. I think that's going to be too big. Let's uh, do it smaller. I'm over here again uh, with the little uh, type thing. 
So here, let's do 24. Let's do that. Gluten and then free. There we go. All right. So we got that. Another type box. Click pull. Let's do Rotini. Caps lock. Rotini. Okay. Highlight. Let's go here and do 36. Needs to be bigger, I think. Rotini. Oh, that's awful big. Let's do 60. Then we'll go over here and click on this bottom arrow. Let's go for like 55. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Gluten-free Rotini. I like when there's a lot of difference between my type. This is, to me, a little bit too close in size. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, 24. I'm going to do it down to uh, 20. Okay. So we have 55 and we have 20. We might be changing that, but this is good for now. All right. Gluten-free Rotini. All right, so now what we're going to do, now the, now the work starts. I am going to select both of these. You could do a hold your shift key down and select both. Or, because this is locked, I can do a marquee, which is a box that you draw over both of them using the selection tool. And I'm going to go up now to type and create outlines. As you've heard me say before in a lot of lectures, uh, demonstrations, this doesn't really outline. It's a poorly chosen word. It creates shapes. Now my type, look at all this here. It disappears in terms of a type. It is now, or a font, it is stripped out all, all the indicators that it's a font. Now these are individual shapes. Okay? That's all they are now is shapes. All right. So here we go. Uh, let's now, we're going to uh, select both. Hold down Option key or Alt key if you're on a PC and just pull it down and let go. We need to save this. Okay, so let's go over this again. Now let's do... Hmm. What color? Maybe we could just leave this black for now. What we're going to do now is start outlining. All right, so we have this outlined in uh, Illustrator, uh, and but we're actually going to really do an extended outline right now. All right, so let's go object, path, offset, path, offset, path, not outline stroke, offset, path. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is what we're going to do. This is starting to look really uh, great. Now, I've done this before many times. I like to start with 0.1 meter, uh, miter, I should say. Uh, I like to leave it there. That means it's going to be sharp. If you do round, it will round it. That, that's cool, too, if you want to use. You like Actually, this could be cool for this, too, like it's noodles. So uh, miter and then round. Maybe let's do let's do round. I wasn't planning to, but it kind of is cool because it kind of goes with the pasta theme. All right. So okay, so we have that, and now we can go okay. All right. So maybe we should pick a color right now, for this down here, and this up here. But before we do that, let's just combine all of this stuff. Go up to window. Uh, Pathfinder. Pathfinder is your friend, okay? Pathfinder has a lot of different, uh, it's got like a lot of robust uh, possibilities what you can do, uh, but you normally aren't just going to use these two and these two. So let's just click on Unite. There we go. And let's click on this and Unite. So what this does is clean things up. It's just now one big shape. So if I want to, I can make it a kind of a pasta kind of color. And let's do a really vibrant, robust red for this. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let's click on the gluten-free, put it there in the middle. 
center it, this. I'm just eyeballing it. The best thing to do is uh, make this really large. Make sure you're, you're even on all the sides. Now I'm going to make both of, the, both of these white. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. Um, I I know I did a little bit of a different color on the other one, but uh, let's just let's just stay with this right now. Okay. Now I want to make on the red. I want to make it a little bit richer. I want it to kind of come at you. So what I'm going to do is click on the background red, and I'm going to do this again. Object. Path, Offset Path, and then do this. Okay, but this time I want to pick this blue. I want to double click here, and I want to make it slightly darker than the background. Not much, just a little. Okay, and then I'm going to pull this blue here. This is now my blues. This blue and this blue. Okay, now it looks pretty good. Again, bottom, medium, all right. And let's click on both of these. And let's have it go to front. Object, arrange, send to front, or bring to front. There we go. I want this to be a little bit further south, so let's go south here. All right. Uh, I could put a blue on this one, but I, I don't know if it really needs it. So this does need a little centering, though. I'm just visually, I'll, I'll fix this later on, but gluten-free rotini looks good to me for now. All right. Now, let's put a little slight arc to both of these. All right. So let's do, again, select them both. Now let's go up to Effect. Stylize. Nope, actually it's none of these. It is... Effect. Maybe it's this one. No, it's not distort. There it is, it's warp. Go up to Menu, Effect, go down to Warp. It's not Arc, it's Arch, okay? Now you're going to get these commands in here as far as how much to arch it. Now because I did these separately, you can, you can also do them separately. But it looks like this actually is going to work. All right, so I'm going to do, this is Preview. Click. Uh, it's just doing it anyway. Let's do OK. And there we are. Now, it looks like it does need a little bit of an adjustment in terms of some of this needs to be pulled up. Okay. And this is kind of awkward here. So let's click on this and make that go a little bit higher. And make this go a little bit higher. Okay. There we go. All right, let's see how much different I am than the original. Okay, a little different. Little, I, I kind of almost prefer this one, but it's okay. What I want to uh, do now is uh, bring in a photograph and pretend there is a window cut here. That would be an actual hole cut in the paper board, and there would be a cellophane on one side. It used to be cellophane. It can be any number of plastics and uh, I will bring in a photograph and cut it so it looks like if you do your mock-up you can have a picture of that uh, uh, rotini pasta that's dry okay so let's let's do that let's do a ellipse tool uh, click and pull uh, try to get about how big you want it not too big not too small okay and I shot a, a bunch of pasta, just dumped it out of the box and took my iPhone. I'd like you to do this. It's like, don't be lazy, you know, 
you can have a lot of fun shooting stuff yourself and you can get much more you can get much more connected to what you're doing okay even if you want you could even cook some pasta you wouldn't show it in a window like this but it would be fun to do if you know how to cook do a photograph of it it's it's a lot of fun so let's do this i'm going to drop first of all i have my dry pasta here oops no it went to the back oh I, I really did not want that. Okay, so I'm going to open it up on the side here. And there it is. Now, it's it's uh, too big. So let's go image, image size. This It opens in Photoshop. We're in Photoshop now. And let's do this. Uh, you see the, we want the resolution to be 300. That's the magic number for CMYK printing. Okay. So we also don't want it so big. I mean, honestly, it's going to be on there about mm, oh, maybe four inches across. So let's let's do a maximum of, say, six. Let's do a maximum of six width. And at 300, that looks good. Okay, so let's do a save. I'm going to do save as. And I'll call it dry pasta uh, dash um, Photoshop PSD Photoshop um, small. This will be the small version, and it goes to desktop. And I'll save it as a it could, a, a ping or a a JPEG. I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. Save. Then it's ask you maximum. Yes. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to click that off, and I'm going to do, okay, we're back in Illustrator, Place, which is Command-Shift-P, and let's, let's find that. Dry Pasta, JPEG, Place. So what this gives you is this little hanger, so you can decide how big to make it click pull that's probably pretty good for this size of uh box carton i would say this is about the right this is about how big the rotini is okay all right so let's do this click on the oval object arrange bring to front this has to be in front your shape okay put your photo in the background okay now, is the bottom still, yeah, bottom is still locked. Let's do a marquee over both. Go up to Object, Clipping Mask. Object in the menu, Clipping Mask, Make. It is that easy, okay? Okay, and let's let's put a let's match this. When you do design, you shouldn't do a treatment, generally speaking, in one place and then just leave it and say, oh, I'm not gonna repeat it. This could use uh like a ring around it. Okay, so let's do this blue. Let's go to stroke. Okay. <coughs> let's make stroke up. Let's make it that blue, and let's give it about um, uh, I don't know, six or eight point, and, okay, click off, there you are, okay, so this is the one I just did, and like I said, the one I just did previously this morning, uh, is this one, I do like this better, so when you do, uh, the, uh, uh miter on here, round, or just keep it miter, okay, uh, this is the sharp one, and I do like this one better, but play around, play around. Uh, and that's it.